Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Dark Souls 2. Uh, right now my, my frame rate's a little low, uh, I'm currently rendering videos while I'm doing this. Um, so this is going to be kind of just a... Uh, probably just a logistics video, most likely. Um, one is I... well, there's a few reasons. One, I just want to take care of some things, like things I missed. like. This area with the Ferris locks down, which I haven't done yet. Um, I did do some grinding. I ha my dexterity has increased to like two or three points now. Um, what I, where I went to grind was over in um, what was that place called? The place with all the, uh, the the windmills and stuff. I went there, and I actually f was focused on killing those um, desert sorceresses. And I was trying to get their uh, armor set, and I actually managed to get it. You don't even show it off. What it's worth. Alright, uh... Yeah, Desert Sorcerer's Hood. Uh, overall, it's a lot worse than the armor I have right now. It also somehow makes your boobs bigger. Um... Doo -doo -doo. It's not too bad. The skirt's kind of weird because of how they animate it. It's essentially attached... It's like it, it permanently has static electricity and it's constantly stuck to my legs. Um, so overall, yeah, it doesn't have very good stats. Um, the Desert Sorcerer's Hood gives you additional um, intelligence, like three points of intelligence, which doesn't help me either. But yeah, it's a neat set. Um, it didn't take too long to grind. Yeah, I did use a few um, luck tokens. I think I'm out of luck tokens now. So I don't have to worry about using those anymore. Anyway, uh, Saints Trousers again. Put that back on. Alright, frame rate's actually fixed itself somehow. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this. Ah, oh, multiples. Soul Vessel, okay. Always nice. Oh, that's right, I didn't bring my healing potion. Or my heal spell. I did a little bit of PvP. I still, I have the Belfish Seal on right now. Um, I only got into one fight, and he slaughtered me. Oh, it's this room. Neat. Well, in that case... Oh, no, I got... I know the other thing. So, there was that locked door... Um, that we still don't have the key for. I know where you can get the key, and it's actually completely optional. You actually don't need the key. Um, the key is used only in like a few places. One is that door, and the other is um, two doors uh, near one of the old ones that we haven't fought yet. Oh, that's right. It's the door here. But there's another way to get by the uh, one of the doors without the key. And it's... Uh, I was kind of wondering about it because there's that crack in the wall, and that crack in the wall is supposed to be a hint, but it's not very often you get to blow open walls. So, I'm going to give this a shot, see if we can get it to happen. Aggro? Hey. Talking to you. Hey, guy. Guy. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to do this myself. Somehow. Good job. I didn't screw it up already. So this barrel explodes, remember? Now he did do it, kick it down the first time, but now we gotta do it ourselves. Try jog.
didn't work. Well, actually, it's still possible to work. It's just I gotta somehow nudge it along. And I got. Great. It's stuck, isn't it? Nope, it's not. Just gotta nudge it over. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna drink this. Alright, we'll try it here. I guess there's no other choice. There you go. Excuse me, guy. I'm gonna go ahead and rob you. Heavy bolt. Iron arrow. Titanite shards, five of them. Large titanite shard, two of them. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be this easy? Stop swinging that at me. Flynn, Flynn, I smell flame upon you. I'm Macduff the blacksmith. All I want is a little flame. So, hand that ember to me. Right now, you imbecile. So yeah, this guy's pretty messed up. Um, if you didn't have the ember in your inventory, he'll just mumble about needing an ember, and then he won't really say anything else. If you give the ember to him, he'll be available for blacksmithing. <laughs> what a marvelous ember. You've got stones, I pray. Give me stones, and I'll fortify your gear. So he can do the same, same stuff as the other blacksmith, but he can also infuse weapons. So if we want to, we can apply, well, if we have the stones, uh, we can make our weapon enchanted, we can make ours raw, we can make it, I believe we have poison, yeah, we can make it poison, we can make it lightning, we can make it fire, so it's pretty, uh, pretty unique. Um, I don't remember the difference between magic, I, well, I don't remember which is which, as between enchanted and magic. Uh, the way, let's see, like one of them gives, oh yeah, I, I, I can tell now, okay, so what the magic stone does, or sorry, uh, what magic enchant, or oh, sorry, enchanted does, is it doesn't change the damage of the weapon, but instead it'll change the infinity to be more towards intelligence, so you can have a giant greatsword rely more on intelligence for that damage than strength, for example. So you can kind of make like a spell sword type thing. Uh, as far as magic, that just adds magic damage, fire adds fire damage, lightning does fire, uh, lightning damage. Uh, note it does add an affinity of that element to that weapon, and while at the same time lowering the affinities of the other stats. So it does have penalties to it, but usually in the long run it'll be a benefit, depending on how your stats are set up. Uh, dark uh, let's see, dark does dark damage, poison will add a poison effect. The higher the poison, the fast, easier it is to uh, cause the poison effect on people. Same thing for bleed. Um, raw, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember. 
Oh, raw increases the raw damage of the weapon and lowers all the infinities. So if you have like a weapon that has little to no affinity, uh, raw is pretty much a safe bet to use because it's essentially just a, a flat upgrade. Um, and then there's mundane. Mundane's probably the most complicated. Um, the way mundane works is it reduces da it sets it so it reduces all affinities and it's the damage is calculated based off all your stats. Like. Well, sorry, it's based off the lowest of your stats. So, right now, this thing will be probably based off my intelligence or something like that. So the only real way to make a, a mundane weapon work is if all your stats are even. It's, uh, if you do have your stats even, though, it does have a pretty significant uh, multiplier as far as um, damage is concerned. So, it, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty weird. I've never used a mundane. In fact, the only thing I've ever used is dark. And occasionally fire because we have that fire sword anyway um i did apply bleed to a weapon once but it didn't really help me any anyway we're not gonna do any of that um just a little curious what's it take to upgrade the freaking d desert uh tight knight okay that's not bad all right buy items um if you spend enough money here he will um, he will give you a Titanite slab, I, be, I believe, but um, he also has infinite number of large Titanite shards, which is pretty good. I think that's I think that's mostly because I've already done some of the stuff that upgrades these t sorts of shops. I hope to fetch a new ember. Flame, dear flame. This guy's a little off, to say the least. Flame. <laughs> From the start of time, Flame allowed man to flourish, and even now he devises new fiery arts, but his reason makes him doubt Flame. And so we waver and falter. The power of Flame, power of the gods, in the end, it is all beyond our reach. And so, flame allures us, and we attempt to harness its power. Flame, dear flame. He really likes fire. Flame, I give you my own. Okay, he's repeating himself. Be gone. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, let's go ahead and... Pretty much at full. Well, actually, I need the rest. We're gonna go ahead and travel. We're gonna go to. Actually, since I'm about to, I'm probably gonna end up dying anyway. Let's go to him again. I hope to fetch. He'll eventually move from that chest, and we can get that. Uh, what he, what he's sitting on. But for now, we'll just get this taken care of. We're just gonna use up our souls, get a few uh, large titanite shards. I do know some places where you can farm large titanite shards, but. We're not gonna worry about that. Anyway, let's go ahead and tune our spells. Let's get the heal spell just in case. Actually. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. I would I would get a pyromancy, but I haven't been upgrading my pyromancy flame at all. So let's travel. We're gonna go. Oh, I added a um I went back to um Iron Keep, and I went and just got that one camp, that one bonfire. I I didn't hit simply because I didn't because there's no way to go back once you hit it. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and go to Duff's uh, sort of quarters. We're gonna try to go through the tower. Um, we have already rang the bell, so all we have to do is get through the fog gate. I'm um, currently human. I went because I helped someone fight the uh, magma boss or whatever. One second, cat in the way. <sighs> Alright. More than likely I'm gonna get destroyed. I haven't, I haven't really had much luck with PvP. Probably because I'm awful at it. Speaking of, let's go ahead and take off this ring. Um, what we want... What do we want? Let's go ahead and... 
stamina recovery. Yeah, let's get stamina recovery. Sun seal, clear stone, boot, blue ring, and ring of blade. So I have attack power, stamina recovery, uh, casting speed, and um, miracle damage. I'm gonna open with the mid force. And I'm already getting, I'm already getting uh, invaded. I know this because my fo the uh, fog gate's up. Alright, I can at least fight here. What's up, guy? Oh, it's this guy. Well, aren't you freaking clever? Okay, one down. It could, there could be another, though. They could be up to two. over them of all things. Alright, I could do a summon and get some help, but I'm not going to do that. This fight's going to be difficult, to say the least. And there goes the summon sign. Okay, whatever. Alright, boss fight time. Die, please. Thank you. And here comes another one. Okay, cat, not now. That was not the time. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Not bad when you have freaking sunlight spears. Sorry for yelling at you, Annie. Feel free to gargoyle soul. Soul of a proud knight. Now, just to point out, this is completely optional, so you'll ne you, if you don't want to deal with all the PvP stuff, you do not have to climb this tower. Um, you miss out on three rooms. Well, correction, you'll miss out on two rooms if you don't know how to op get to the blacksmith like I just showed you. And the blacksmith isn't really that required unless you want to do infusions, which really are overrated. Actually, well, they're not overrated, it's just they're limited. Southern Witchroll Band. Allows, oh, allows a two minute of additional spells. Neat. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go without that uh, ring that boosts the amount of souls I get because I'm quite, I'm getting up there in souls. I've got this bonfire lit for what it's worth. Nothing down there. Now there's stuff down here we can 
Hope you like fighting dogs. This is an NPC. And he's kind of annoying because they're all around all these freaking dogs. And he hangs out. He just won't he won't he won't go away. I don't have enough to actually Oh yes I can. I can somehow target him from here. I mean I don't have any way of actually hitting him. Well, that didn't work at all. This is the annoying part. Ow. All right, go away. It's really hard to read his moves because he delays his swings. Okay, go away. Ow. Are you serious? Really? Or not? Roll. Get a winged spear plus five from him. And let's go ahead and get this chunk. Fine work. Thank you. Bastille key. That's what we need. Enchanted Falchion. So if you take a look at the Enchanted Falchion. Yeah, it's based off, um... No, it's not based off intelligence. What is... what... how does Enchanted work, then? No, no, that is right. Yeah, it's... Okay, not much, not much else to see there. Okay. And that's pretty much everything. Bonfire. All right, our next stop then. I mean, we continue down here and at least get that battle done. In fact, uh, well, first let's go pay a visit to Majula. We'll spend some of our souls to uh, level up and do whatever. Bear, seek lesson. Up. Keep upping our dexterity. And then we'll use the rest to go uh, talk with her. I'm glad to see you're well. For a second there, I thought she was smoldering, but no, it's me. Alright, uh, reinforced pyromancy flame. Yoink. Bye. Another one. Reinforced Pyromancy Flame. These cap out at 10, but you only need one seed each, so you need a total of 10 seeds to max out your Pyromancy. I'm always here, so come and see me when you're in town. Radio. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and do Shaded Woods, get that taken care of. Actually, no. I got a better idea. Go up the other. This one doesn't have a boss in it, so... We're gonna probably get to die. I mean, we did manage to win that fight, but... Bound to fail eventually. So... 
Don't waste any time climbing the ladder. Get up as quickly as possible, because you never know when an archer might spot you. Looks like we're okay though. Oh, got five rusted coins. So this is the other tower, so I think we will get credit for killing these shadows here. If we manage to do so anyway. Careful, there's a ballista there. Great, another one. Yeah, I figured it was gonna happen. Making those stupid voice blocks is probably the worst thing from social software has ever done. Of course, that's really not saying much because I've only really played two of their games. And this is the only one I've played thoroughly, uh, rather thoroughly. All right. The good news is uh, that wizard does not come back, so we can we can gradually take out some of these guys. To a point. Also take out this guy before even entering. What it's worth. Okay. Uh, there's a chance you can get a dark spirit to come here, or a uh, red phantom, and you can actually kill it and get a, a chance a, of a pretty good rare drop. I believe it's a katana, in fact, but. I'm not gonna take the chances, unfortunately. Oh, I can get something. Rest of coin. Yeah. Wow, I can one shot those guys with this? This is amazing. I had so much trouble with this place before. I mean, we're still gonna have trouble. Don't. Don't have any doubts about that. Alright, so. What you gotta do here. Pull this. Ring the bell. You gotta head up here. Make sure there's nothing back here. There is something back here. Simple thin spice. Oh, that's good. So really your goal, if anything, is to make sure you kill the, the guys that are not little dwarves. Because those guys aren't going to be the, the main issues for a while. This guy triple shots you with his crossbows. Alright, let him come up. Try not to waste ammo. Try not to waste ammo. Oh, you're coming. Gotcha. I'll go ahead and 
heal. Yeah, these guys can shoot arrows rather quickly. It's rather annoying. Immolation. A pyromancy. You an effigy and triclops snake trotches. Back here. And all we have to do is drop back down and we're back to where we started. So, not as ser definitely not required, but this is your way of getting the uh, incinerate spell. Or, sorry, immol immolation spell. Show a spell info. A pyromancy that creates a coating of flame, allowing the caster to incinerate nearby foes. Needless to say, this is a perilous spell that burns the caster while active. If a person is truly dis uh, desirous of something, perhaps being set on fire it does not seem so bad. So you set yourself on fire to damage everyone around you. Gotcha. Alright, let's go back to Majula. So yeah, this video is just to take care of some loose ends. Um, we got a few options. We, we definitely have a few options as far as where to go next. Um, I'm thinking of going back to deal with the, the help out uh, Tark is a wife issue um, but I don't not sure if I want to go any further to the next area because that area annoys me so yeah yeah I think I'll be fine we'll take out uh, Tark's wife uh, next time and then we will probably go back to Lost Bastille and go to the one other area it can lead to and that'll probably lead us to taking care of an old soul, uh, one of the old souls. And then after that, I will probably go start going towards the Rat King, so we can start getting that started. I'm glad to. So that's the plan. And just enough. All right. I'm always here. So All right. Come and so. That's the plan. I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Dark Souls 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.